can all Mr. Preamp song. Talk about something interesting today. Sorry, the amp was not. I'll try again, Dory, just to make sure. Hi, this is Dory again. I am here to make another video for you. I hope that we can talk about something interesting other than what we've been talking about. I mean, what Michelle has to say was interesting to her movie, but maybe we can talk about how how I like prime time so much and why I go to prime time and what prime time is all about. Um, what it Good is, topic. it's a non-profit organization and it's for people that have mental illness. And um, it's people can go there to do whatever they want. They can um, help out. We, we do all kinds of different, we have TEs. We have all kinds of different things that we do there. I'm sorry the sun's in my face, but... <laughs> Um, What's a TE? A TE is it's called transi transitional employment. Um, what that is is basically um, we help you get jobs. We help we help them get back on their feet from being sick for a long time. They help people get back on their feet. Um, for instance, we have one per person that worked from a TE, and they liked him so much that they hired him full time mm -hmm. and it was uh, one of our um, big ones it was um, the, the Lake and Inn in, down in Cornwall and they liked him so they hired him and um, we also have uh, Halloween parties we have um, Christmas party we're open on every holiday for people who don't have anywhere to go um, and uh, actually Michelle used to be a member but she isn't going anymore, but I'm trying to get her to go back, so maybe we can get Michelle to go back. And I think the reason why I stopped going when it's a little bit different is that um, I part of it was misinformation uh, on the part of Ed. Well, but well, Ed's, Ed's an idiot. <laughs> well, then see, what's not just said is but some misinformation was given. Um, but one of the things that Mary Baker at the time was trying to promote me to get a transitional employment or uh, a supported employment job um, was is with my social security benefits. I would have lost so much. Right. And that's what that's what's hard about getting us jobs. But now there is a thing where you you can make so much, um, and now some of the jobs are you know you don't have to. Well, you know, I think as far as the TE idea, it's a great idea, but I mean, I think that another part of the system that needs to be adjusted, and even Congress has said, several senators have said the same thing, is Social Security itself should not punish people for trying. Exactly. I, I agree with you 100% that, because, like myself, I want to go back to work, but they want to cut my check completely in half. And I only make so much money a month, and there's no way that if I want to be on my own or to do, because right now I live with my daughter and her friend, and it's really hard. But if, if I want to go on my own, there's no way to get a part-time job. Excuse me, can I join you? Sure. If Dory doesn't mind having me here. I don't think she does, do you? No. Okay. Um, why don't you introduce uh, me? Because I don't think, I mean, me and Michelle know other on my channel, our channel, but you haven't introduced me yet. Well, this is Lumi. Hi. I'm, I'm not, I'm more closer to Michelle than I am Lumi, I'm sorry. Um, Lumi is Michelle's other half. Right. And I know you all... When we say other half, it means that we're body mates. Yeah. We share the same flesh. And, um, yeah, we do. We share the same flesh. So, I mean, like I said, I'm, I usually talk more to Michelle than I do to Lumi. So, Lumi, are you going to, what did you want to say? I was going to say was, Michelle also found when she was at prime time that there was no TEs that were in her specialties. Um, but there's other things you can do, do there than TEs, Michelle. Right now, we, uh, we also have right now that you might be very interested in is that we are starting up a computer class. I already know computers. Yeah, I know, but maybe you can help. Um, I, you know, we, we have a computer class. We have, um, we do outings. Um, we're going to the Big E. Um, 
I wish I could have people call in and ask questions. Well, but... the biggie part, if you're listening for this month being so messed up, exactly. This month has been a disaster. Not as bad as last month, but still it's a disaster. Um, September hasn't even started yet, Michelle. Hmm? September hasn't even started yet. Yeah, but I've already calculated budget a whole month in advance. Oh, so much Michelle for you. I don't even have a budget. Well, it's like Dory knows. I'm a real penny pincher. But you know what? Sometimes. Sometimes that's a good way to be. Well, let's get back to prime time. Okay. Um, I, I, it's a very special place to be. I mean, there's a lot of people that, that I've met that I've seen grow from absolutely nothing to having a TE. And I've been, I'm going on my eighth year there. And it's been, it's been an experience for me too because myself, if I didn't have prime time, I'd be sitting in my bed, watching TV, and just sitting there and feeling sorry for myself. Um, before I started prime time, I... How long have you been going to prime time? Um, on December 17th, no, December 14th will be eight Nine years. years. Eight years. Okay. Eight years. And um, so if I didn't have prime time, I'd be laying in my bed, Sitting in there feeling sorry for myself. Um, before I started prime time, I sat there all day, and I just my friend that lived with me. She's not here anymore. Her she used to go there, and she asked, and I asked her. I said, "What is so big about prime time? Why do you go there so much? Why you spend all your time there?" And now that I go, I see why. Because I'm not sitting in my bed, and I'm not sitting there feeling sorry for myself. What is the entry requirements, and how can people find out more about? You have to, um, you, you like, um, some people they go to the, that have um, crisis issues and go they go to to the hospital. You can get a referral from the hospital. You can get a referral from your doctor. What's in Connecticut Mental Health Authority? Yeah, so. Connecticut Mental Health Authority in Torrington. You can get a referral from them. Okay, now obviously. Since a lot of your viewers are probably not necessarily in this area, where can they find out about any kind of other... Our website. Um, I think it's... Um, International Center of Wealth Development. Yeah, I think it's our website. I think it's primetimehouse.org, um, I think it is. primetimehouse.org. Um, I think that's it. If you want to... Check it out, and if you know anybody that has mental illness and needs a place like that, we take we um, do tours. We have people come in and um, take tours of the place. Actually, we even have luncheons that we just had. We just had a big luncheon and um, a couple months back, and um, like all our TEs, they like um, the TEs come from their company, and we put on a lunch for them all professionally. Um, we dress up in nice clothes. We serve them, we serve them salad, um, the dinner, dessert, coffee, and we're like waiters. And that's how that's how we pay back our thanks to um, having them there. Okay, well, now let me ask you a question now. Mm -hmm. um, Content House is part of the International Center for Clubhouse Development. Right. Okay, would you like to could you briefly explain to them how it's all started out and I'm saying well like, our prime time has been here since 1988 and um, there we have actually we do have a member that's been there was one of the first ones that ever went to that started prime time and he is still um, an active member um, he was like the fourth one we have one that like was like the fifth member that ever came mm -hmm. and um, Actually, you probably even know who he is. You know, you know Tom Bellman. Who? Tom Bellman. No. No. But he he's a he's an original member, and um, so anything. And I can't, and then we have um, like um, I don't know what else. Well, the most important thing is is that. Especially people on a fixed income are probably going to ask, and I think women would agree with. I mean, is, is there any kind of cost? No, there's no cost. It's all volunteer, except for the staff. They get they get their pay, but 
Um, we don't, we don't, <coughs> we don't um, like have. We don't have any employee of the month. We don't have like anything like that. We can't. Um, there's no membership dues. Right. There's no membership dues at all. We don't have any of those. The only thing is, is that you have to be referred by a mental health professional. Exactly. And I remember when I was there, um, I joined was to Western Connecticut Mental Health. At that time, it was Northwest Mental Health. Mm -hmm. And I had nothing to do. I was sitting in a homeless shelter. I was homeless. Yeah. And I was under a lot of stress. So and you're, perfect, you're a perfect candidate. Perfect candidate because what was they going to do every day in the homeless shelter? Because exactly. they sent you out in the street in the daytime. Exactly. So I went to prime time because there was nothing else to do. But there's a lot. There's a lot you can do there. Like for instance, I make. I do all the reach out. We have. Oh yeah, we have a reach out program, and I I do most of the reach out. I make cards for them. Um, we make miss you cards, birthday cards. Thinking of you cards, get well cards, and to me, a card or to get mail from somebody that you know is, is, is the most caring thing you can do. Now, do you think your YouTube channel, in a way, is kind of an extension of your reach out program? In a way, you well, if I get if I can get primetime members to watch my video, I could maybe get them to maybe that could be another way of me reaching out. Um, that's why I'm trying to do trying to get. This to, to work because I we I want to see if I can get a reach out program through a video because we have um we have a we have a clubhouse I I think it's in when I went to Meriden Mer I mean um, Baltimore with our um, with prime time there's a there's a Baltimore Maryland it was a, con a convention and one of the clubhouses has video where they can reach out to the members they have their own website. Mm -hmm. And they reach out to members. There's a lot of ways you can reach out to members. Um, for instance, do we have um, one one place that I know have these um, little cards like this? They're like magnets, and you can put like September, October, November, three months. What we're gonna have? Like what we're gonna have for lunch, and what we're gonna have for activity, and going, to the, going to the going to the the Big E's. Uh, going to tag sale or something that well, is, is always planned. Um, okay. So that's, I really want to bring more out to prime time because I love it so much. I just, I can't explain how much it's done for my life and how much I see it done for other people. One of the things I suggested to the Board of Education Services for the Blind is that they should have something similar for the handicapped, for the legally blind and the blind. That they should have a similar type program. Because the biggest problem is a lot of the legally blind and blind Connecticut are kind of doing the same thing that the mental health is doing. Sitting around. Doing nothing. Doing nothing or very little. And yet, here I am, and I've been actively doing videos now on YouTube for since 2011. I started out in March with my iPhone 3GS. And um, I've come a long way from those early days. Yeah. Uh, incidentally, Dory is using some of my gear, except she's using it with her phone. This is um, going on her YouTube channel, and it's exciting. My two YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> helping promote it for her because I'm so I'm sharing some of the videos on my channel, um, so you can find them and um, subscribe to her channel. She really is just starting out. She's really really new to this, so. Um, if you guys are, um, are looking for ex learning uh, and sharing your experience with the, you know, with Dory and stuff and possibly, you know, she's she's making a baby step into a big pond. Yeah, I, I mean, I've done videos with Michelle, and I thought about doing it myself, but I really don't, really don't know what to talk about. But I just wanted to, to, you know, to let people know that there is people out there that care about other people. We're in a cruel, cruel, cruel world. And oh, what about besides that? What about you know talking about things that you feel like talking about in your life? I mean, you got a granddaughter, you got a grandson, you got. I uh, okay. Let me tell you a little bit about. Okay, let's get off the subject. But let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I have 
two beautiful daughters. Um, I have a daughter named Roxanne, and I have a daughter named Amber, and I have a beautiful, handsome grandson. His name is Desmond, and I have a beautiful granddaughter. Her name is Angelin, and my family means the world to me. Um, I would do anything for them. And, I'll, and I do have a sister. Her name is Rosalyn. Um, her and I aren't so close like I want sisters to be. But um, and then um, my parents passed away. Um, there's only there's only the six of us left that I just mentioned. And um, <clears throat> so we have a very small family. And family to me means everything because you, you don't have life is too short. I I. I Tell everybody I know, life is too short because I had a huge family, huge family. I had aunts, I had uncles, I had relatives that we that we saw every daily on a daily basis. Uncles, aunts. I don't have that anymore, and it's only the six of us. And I tell my kids, I mean, I'm I'm not the best mother in the world. I'm not, and I wasn't the best mother in the world. But I want. I'm, I'm trying to make up to it for my grandkids. Yeah. I don't, I don't see my grandson as much as I should, but I love him definitely. I mean, I see my granddaughter a lot. Well, I haven't really seen her a month too, but I, I love my grandkids a lot. They mean the world to me. Um, Family is a very important thing, but sometimes, sometimes friends can be more family than your own family. And what do you plan to do, say, within the next few months, what's your... Well, my daughter, my young, I live with my youngest daughter and her friend, and um, I really feel that I need to go on my own. I mean, I feel that um, my youngest daughter depends on me too much, um, and, I, and I don't make, like I said in the beginning, I don't make a lot of money to um, be on my own, and um, maybe... Um, Michelle and I were talking about becoming roommates, but she lives in a small apartment, and maybe if we can, I don't know. Actually, Michelle's really, really, apartment's really, actually not that small. So, we measured it. Yeah. So It's twice the size of when she lived in over Litchfield Street. Yeah? Yeah. So That was only 286 square feet. This is almost well, 490 square feet. Right now, I have to decide. I have to think what I'm going to do. I don't... And I have a lot of stuff in storage and a lot. So then I figure maybe I can talk to Michelle's landlord. But we'll have to see what happens. And right now he left, so I couldn't talk to him. But I, I, I really want to try to be independent. I'm going to be 50 years old in October. And I, that's my, that's the, they say that's the prime of your life. So maybe I could... <laughs> you know, I think me and Michelle are going to drive and live quite a long time. We probably got at least another 40 to 50 years. Because Michelle doesn't smoke, Michelle doesn't drink. I don't either. You used to smoke. Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes, but I, I, I smoke occasionally. Yeah, I have a cigarette because it relaxes you. But my goal is to see my grandchildren, my grandchildren graduate high school. I want to see my grandchildren graduate high school and make something of them themselves. And then after that, I don't care what happens to me. Well, for us, if I live to see 105 and see my see my granddaughter walk down that aisle, walk down that aisle to graduate high school, and if I have to be pushed in a wheelchair, I'm going to do it. Well, I was going to say was is you know me and Michelle have. Pretty much, we got a few more tours left to do before our day is through, and you know we're talking about metaphorically speaking. Um, and then finally, we can go home to the other side, take a nap, and wake up, and and deal with the next life when it comes, if we come back again. Yeah, we have been still kicking that tire on around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to come back again. <laughs> It's just like I said, if I ever wanted to come back again for a different life, I would I would think I would want to be a bird because birds can just like fly free of the world. They can fly over. Hooper yeah, until them. someone pulls you full of bird shot. Yeah, I just said that so they can fly over and shit on you. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know what, though, it's like, in my case, the reason why we mean let me say it, what we say is because, you know, you know, it's just like you're trying to cash on. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. I've been everything. I mean, um, I'll just keep it short and sweet because this is your channel. But let's just say is this life so far has been interesting. But, you know, we would like to come, if we did come back, we want to call, ask Mother if we can be placed in the dimensional, multi-dimensional um, place where we can live a life similar to what we lived in the Victorian era. Yeah, that'd be nice. At least we'd be able to understand the rules better. My dream was to go to Hawaii. My dream was to go to Hawaii and go on a cruise. What was my dream before I passed away? Your bucket. Your bucket. Uh... Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm a very big spender with no money. Hmm. <laughs> well... Well, see what happens. I mean, it's, we don't even know what's going to happen at the end of this month coming up. We have heard a lot of different things. We're not going to cover it here, but. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to wrap this up. And I just want to thank Michelle for talking and letting me speak about Prime Time. It's a very special place in my heart. I hope you watch this video and I hope you like it. Have and a nice please, day. gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, do not be afraid to comment. Yes, comment if you like me. And subscribe to her channel. It helps because, you know, she's trying to do the same thing I'm doing. I'm helping her learn the ropes. And, you know, it's going to be a long um, time before she gets anywhere as sophisticated as me. Um, right now, I'm just getting to the point where we can just get the videos uploaded straight from camera to phone, um, camera to YouTube without really too much cutting and pasting at this point or titles or subtitles or anything, but we will but do that eventually. If you don't like me, please tell me so I can make it better next time. Have a nice day. God bless. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.